Right, hello, welcome to a quick unboxing video. Um, part three of the three part series of Vectric um, versus As Vectric Aspire versus Carvco Maker Plus. That is on the way, but since then, um, the, the Works UK have uh, very kindly sent me this Maker X kit to um, use on some of my projects. So I thought the first video I would just do to put in there was if we'll have a little um, unboxing video. I haven't opened this yet since it all arrived. I thought I'd leave that till uh, till I could show you guys so I could open it together. Uh, this will just be the unboxing and then what I'll do is I'm gonna start using this in some of my projects. So I've got the um, cordless angle grinder there. It's a mini angle grinder. This is gonna um, I have plans to use this with the um, carving wheel on it. It's a two inch, 50 mil carving wheel. Uh, Sabretooth and other makers do wheels like that. So plan to stick one of them on here so I can do some uh, carving on the edge of signs, etc. Then we've got the cordless airbrush uh, for some sign painting. That will That's what that will be incorporated for. And then also going to be in this kit is the rotary tool and something that be is very handy which is a cordless soldering iron so let's open this kit up have a look at it see what we've got see how it comes as i say i haven't opened this yet it comes in this nice little plastic carry case see if it's got any oh it does have some seals on it so just cut this seal off here. So it's got a couple of cable ties on it. Get those cut off. So with those cut off, here we go. So this is the main sort of fundamental part of the kit, which is um, your charger, your control station. And there you've got one battery in the bottom there. You can imagine I'm going to need more batteries. Um, having all these different tools on offer. I'll probably be eating through batteries. Got your uh, instructions for your charger, instructions for your solder iron, the control unit, and the cordless rotary tool. So there's all your instructions there. Let's take these off. So let's have a look, it's nicely in here. So this is the rotary tool. Obviously, it's got a quick, looks like a quick plug and play power port. It's got a very, it's got like a grippy texture. This is, this is, this is like plastic, but it's got like a knurled, uh, grippy texture on it there. But then from here upwards, this section, this section is all rubber. Still got the grippy knurled texture, but it's a, uh, Having the battery away from the actual unit itself um, means it, it's going to be sort of a bit more pencil-like and, and should give you a bit more hand control with it. Uh, it's got your locking button to lock the spindle so you can put the tools in. But yeah, it's got it's got a nice feel to it. It's got a nice rubber texture on the end there to grip it. So that's our cordless rotary tool. I was quite looking forward, I was definitely looking forward to having this. Uh, I used to use cordless soldering irons quite a lot, but the, the gas ones are quite unreliable. Um, the gas ones I've had, I've had ones from Maplins, all sorts, but eventually they just leak or they give you issues. So this is a little cordless soldering iron here. So you've obviously got your power button and you've got your up and down, obviously to change your temperatures. The quick plug and play uh, port on the end there. This looks like a very standard, very standard end. So if we unscrew that, yeah. So that's a pretty standard uh, soldering iron end. So it's easy to change them out when when they get worn. Uh, let's just do that all back up. That literally just screws back on, back on the end there. They always get, the more you use them, the uh, it gets worn away but that's that's nice and small got quite a nice this one's got quite a nice fine tip to start with so you can get in on the delicate um 
electrics. It's got that same plasticky knurled grip on it. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to using this one with some electronics because it will just be easier. I could take it about with me. Don't have to keep worrying about having power where I'm using it. See what we've got in the bottom here. Okay, so in the, in the bottom here in this little bag, we've got got a little stand there. It's just a little stand to rest it on when it's hot. And then looking at it, we've got let's pop these out of there. So if we just get down to this one, I can see this is obviously going to fit onto the end of the soldering iron just like the normal tip would. But then you've got all of these um, different ends for adding patterns to things. So a little sort of star. Uh, there's a few more in there, so we've got quite a few different ones. Be for like doing some um, pyography work. Uh, just got some different patterns so then these obviously there's a moon so these obviously then just screw into this adapter like so then that you just fit that on the end of the soldering iron and you can use it for some pyography you've got a little sort of writing tip you could use there not sure i'll be using it for that purpose i'm really interested in using it for the electronic soldering side um, definitely going to be happy to give that a go especially when I make um, when I make LED signs like the LED lights I often solder the, um, the LED ribbon strip I often cut it and then when I want to take it on a bend I'll solder the four or five wires to join it back together so it'd be very handy for that here we've, in the bottom we've got the 20 volt 2 amp battery I believe they go they've got a 5 amp version as well so it, long term it'll probably be worthwhile me getting uh, a bigger amp hour battery uh, but that is going to be a great starter and then we've got the charger well it's a charger what more can we say about that that is a charger and this is the control unit so this control unit goes onto the top of the battery let's pull that out there this is the control unit goes onto the top of the battery so the battery is just going to slide in like so and then your power button you see there's red this is the control unit that's going to give us control over like the rotary tools etc um, and then what we've got is our three pin it's a din plug um, that's just gonna should just quickly and easily there we go just nicely easy pushes in there let's just turn this on see what we get There you go, and just uh, and then if you want a quick change tool to another one, just pull that out straight into the soldering iron, turn it back on. And then we can see our soldering iron says it's off. Turn our soldering iron on, probably got to hold it. Yep, there you go. Let's try it 360 degrees, and up it goes. It's climbing quite rapid but I don't want that to get hot so I'll turn that back off so that works lovely so then what you've got is you've got once you've got your battery pack and your controller you've got quite a nice long lead there look you can just leave that sitting to one side so leave that sitting there attached to your tool you can get on with your soldering if you want to quickly change over to your rotary tool you can quickly change over to that so I'm going to pop that all back in the box for a minute take the battery off So that's all good. And then we'll put that back in there where it came from. Make sure, oh that is a little warm already so I need to let that cool down. Um, and then we've got this little box of, I would use my uh, my freshly printed crambit or karambit, whatever it is, blade knife, but the glue is still drying on it so. Yeah, so in here we've just got our standard sort of what you'd get with most rotary tools. Um, it's a few grinding bits. This is when you put this buffing wheels on that one. Put your sanding wheels on that one. A little wire brush. 
nice little plastic container though you can keep all the bits in there and there you go you've just got a couple of sanding wheels uh, a couple of buffing wheels that can be screwed on and then you've got a couple of different sort of cutting discs i use the uh rotary tools a lot for for cutting just get the little cutting wheels on there or the diamond cutting wheels and use them so you put that back in there that sits on there something like that uh, let's see if that's cool no, it's still warm so it heats up pretty fast that solder iron so there's our instructions for that so i'll move that one out of the way so that's your basic starter kit you can buy that that comes with the two tools um straight out of the box and then what you do is you buy these add-on tools so these are all the extra tools you can then add on to that kit once again they're just going to have the same quick change plug and play ends to them so if we open up this one let's go let's have a take a look at this uh, airbrush first i say i'm excited to try all of these i'm really 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 happy to have got them so what we've got here is we've got the instruction manual for the airbrush it's a funny little thing so then it comes in this little kit there's our quick change plug looks like the end just pops on looks like it's a sort of i was expecting that to be sort of permanently attached to it okay so here's the actual spray gun it's got oh you can uh, i haven't done much airbrushing i'll be honest um so here's our little trigger this is this will be our paint pot here on the top so it's a gravity fed and then this okay yeah so it's just, you've got you've got your aluminium coupling you've got two ball bearings either side which is going to obviously locate and click into that and then the, the tube's going to go up into the center of this brass fitting so there you go And then fits quite fits nice in the hands. Yeah, that fits nice in the hands. So this is the obviously the little the little pump air pump that's going to pressure and send the pressure through to to airbrush. It's going to be quite that's very handy. I mean, you can pop that. That's really quick change. Oh, mind the camera. That's really quick change. You can pop that, pull that straight out, go and clean all this out. If you want to put another colour in, just pop it back in. Off you go again. I like that. I haven't, like I say, I haven't done much airbrushing. Um, it's got the same textured finish on the outside there. I haven't done much airbrushing, but I'm, I'd like to. I just need to find and make a nice work area. I've always been too worried about the overspray going everywhere. So um, obviously, airbrushing doesn't give you the same sort of overspray as uh, spraying with a can or a big airbrush. But that's our airbrush there. And then it obviously, also in the kit here. Just make sure there's nothing under the bottom as well. Neat. So just in there as well, we've got the wire brush for cleaning the nozzle. A very, very tiny little spanner. And then the little dropper as well. So that is the airbrush kit. I'm going to be try this on some signs as well. So drop that in there there is two i think there's two more add-ons to this kit to this whole maker x kit i think it's two could be that i haven't that isn't here which is a heat gun there's a heat gun no three there's a heat gun there's a blower air blower a little air blower for like blowing out your keyboard and anything like that so you've got the heat gun the little air blower oh, and a glue gun glue gun um the glue gun i was quite interested in the heat the heat blower could be good for um could definitely be good to actually to go with this uh soldering iron because the heat gun you could use for the heat shrink so after you've done your soldering you could quickly swap over to the heat gun and then do your heat shrink with that so there are also things that could be worth adding to the kit uh, it'd be nice to have the whole kit at your disposal 
Oh, this is a lot smaller than I was expecting. Um, so this is the mini angle grinder. Uh, I thought it was going to be bigger than this. This is, this is quite cool. So once again, in here, see what we've got. So there's our... Uh, yes, yeah, so it looks like you get a spare a spare disc to hold the disc on. You get a spare fitting disc. It's going to hold that on. You get your little uh, Allen key, two spare screws, which looks like they are spare screws for this um, protector. A spare... Yeah, you get a spare bolt there. And here's the actual unit. Like I say, it's, it's very small. It's very small. So you can really get this into into places. It's, uh, I thought it was probably going to be like twice the size of that. Um, you've got your power button here, which feels a bit quite rubbery. You've got a rubber power button on the side there. This is actually rubber as well. So this is all this is all plastic. Uh, you've got obviously your metal guard. And then you've got this rubber textured grip on here for holding on to. Uh, so it doesn't slip out. That's got quite a nice grip to it. Uh, and you've got your power button there, which is in easy access to your thumb. Whichever hand you, if you're going to do left-handed, you're going to have to use your finger. I kind of work a bit ambidextrous, use both hands. Uh, your manual, I never read manuals. And until, until there's a problem, until something doesn't, until I'm stuck, let's forget about the manuals. And then you get a little accessory pack. So in here, look at the size of these dinky little things. Wow. These are like little babies, little baby discs. Look at that, it's tiny, look at that. Wow. I'm so used to working with a big angle grinder. I use angle grinders all the time. Cordless angle grinder. I've got, uh, obviously, as you've seen in my previous video, got the Audi cordless angle grinder. I use that a lot. Um, it's very handy. And then, look at this, look at this tiny little sand in scurf disc that is wow and then this little small grinding disc that is really cool because you use this for like sharpening knives uh but like i say i'm gonna get the that's so small i'm gonna get the little uh carving disc and put that on there and uh use that just for some some small carvings into signs etc uh that is really cool i'm quite imp i'm really impressed with that this was actually the what the main the main reason i've ever first sort of saw this kit which was um i'd seen this and i was like oh, there you got your locking locking button at the side there so you just push that in undo the allen key pop your disc on do it back up let go off you go uh yeah that is really cool i'm really that is really cool so tiny so yeah, that that is that's a cracking little kit there. Um, definitely think I'm going to have to add another battery to it, but that's, this is a great place to start. So I'm well impressed. Really happy that I've got this to get put into some future projects. You're definitely going to be seeing some of this in some of my work. I think the they've all got their uses. I mean, obviously I've got my maker coins. I actually they come laser cut, so I have to take the little pip off of them. So if I just want to do them, if I don't want to come over to the grinder, or I don't want to open up the workshop, I can just use this rotary tool just to take wherever I am to do it. Um, I like how quick change, I like how quick these, uh, the power sort of plug is. You quickly just pop it from one straight to the other. So there it is, there's the quick unboxing of the, uh, the Works Maker X kit. You can uh, get this from many different places direct or I know it's all on Amazon um, and you can just start with one part and then just add the rest as you go along as and when you need the next components um, but once again thank you very much to the work for sending this to me to use in my projects really appreciate it that's excellent and I will be covering and giving you my opinion on how well it works as and when I, I use it more uh, so there you go Thanks for watching. Uh, the other part, like I said, my three-part video is on the way. And if you have anything else you'd like to see, especially, check it out. I've also got a uh, buy me a coffee page. Obviously, 
I haven't been releasing as many YouTube videos as I liked. It's not as it's not as easy as quick as I'd like it to be. Um, so if you if you're able to support the channel at all, you'll find a link to that in my um, link tree. And uh, thanks for watching.